Approximately one in 10 babies are born preterm, which is defined as before 37 weeks gestation. Being born prematurely is a leading cause of infant death and has been associated with increased risks of learning difficulties, visual and hearing impairments, and cerebral palsy. Although researchers have not yet clearly identified a clear cause and treatment for preterm birth, nutritional supplementation has been found to be one of the best protective factors so far. So in this episode of Nourish, we're going to discuss four of the most researched nutrients for avoiding preterm birth. Stay tuned. Welcome to Nourish. I'm Melanie McGrice and I specialize in helping women optimize their pregnancies with the power of good nutrition. I train healthcare professionals worldwide as well as running a thriving dietetics practice in Melbourne, Australia. I'd love to connect with you on social media. You can find my details in the description box below this video. Oh, and make sure that you subscribe to receive my regular pregnancy and postpartum nutrition videos. Now, in this episode, we're going to delve into four of the best researched nutrients to combat the risk of preterm birth. So let's get started. Number one, we have to start with omega-3. In 2016, a Cochrane Review, which is one of the most respected research authorities there is, concluded that high dose omega-3 supplements significantly decrease the risk of preterm birth. Given how strong this research is, I'm surprised that more women don't take omega-3 supplements during pregnancy. Their research found that their optimum dose was between 500 to 1000 milligrams of long chain omega-3 per day, containing at least 500 milligrams of DHA per day from 12 weeks of pregnancy. And that DHA, that's the important part. Now, in light of this research, I recommend that you ask your healthcare team if this is also recommended for you. Secondly, low intakes of protein during pregnancy have been correlated with an increased risk of preterm birth. Now, although most of my clients easily meet their pregnancy protein requirements, mamas who are malnourished, those with eating disorders, and vegan and vegetarian mamas are some of the ones most likely not to meet their protein requirements. Mamas with hyperemesis gravidium, which is long-term vomiting throughout pregnancy, and those with food intolerances are also at very high risk. So if you fit into any of these categories, I'd recommend that you speak to a prenatal dietitian to see if you're meeting your recommended protein requirements during pregnancy. Number three on my list is magnesium. Now, magnesium drips are often used in hospitals to stop contractions in women with very high risks of preterm birth. Although many studies have found that women who have preterm births are often deficient in magnesium, most studies that have given mamas magnesium supplements haven't reported any decrease in risk compared to those who weren't. Guidelines recommend that you shouldn't have any more than 350 milligrams of magnesium per day during pregnancy. So if this is something that you want to try, I'd highly encourage you to discuss it with your healthcare team first. For number four, I've chosen vitamin D. There's been some really interesting studies come out about the role of vitamin D in avoiding preterm birth. For example, a meta-analysis found that whilst vitamin D deficiency in early and late pregnancy don't seem to be correlated with preterm birth, vitamin D deficiency during the second trimester of pregnancy does seem to be. With this in mind, it's worth getting your vitamin D levels checked early in your second trimester and supplementing them if they're low. Another fascinating study found that women who took high dose vitamin D during pregnancy reduced their risk of preterm birth by 50% compared to women who took low dose vitamin D during pregnancy. This suggests to me that if you're vitamin D deficient, it's important to get your levels up quickly there are, however, risks around high dose vitamin D supplementation. So again, I'd recommend getting personalized advice. There are also interesting studies linking other key nutrients to preterm labor. So if you're at risk, 
I recommend that seeing a prenatal dietitian for personalised advice is one of the best investments that you can make in the health of your baby. Best wishes with your pregnancy and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Free term, which is defined as thir uh. <laughs> uh.